Here's the Microsoft Go 3. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. So first thing, after you turn it on, go ahead and choose your language first. I'm going to go with English in the United States here. I'm going to tap on yes. Is this my right, correct country or region? Yes, I'm in the US, so I'm going to tap on yes. Is this the right keyboard layout or input method? Yes, I'm gonna go with US here. I'm gonna tap on yes right there. Now, if you wanna add a second keyboard layout, you can tap down here where it says add layout. You can tap right there and you can go ahead and choose another one, okay? For me, I'm just fine with one, so I'm gonna go back. And then right here, do you wanna add a second layout? For me, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip it. Let's connect to your network. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my home Wi-Fi network here. And here's my Wi-Fi network right there. Let me tap on connect right there. Let me go ahead and put in the Wi-Fi password. After you put in your password, you can click on the X on the keyboard here and tap on next. It says connect it right there. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on next now. Checking for updates. After the setup is done, I'll go ahead and um, connect this keyboard. If you guys have this keyboard as well. Your PC will restart before you continue. We're restarting now, booting back up. Okay, so please review your license agreement. You can go ahead and read through all that. You want to accept, you must accept to proceed. I'm gonna go ahead and accept right here. Let's add your Microsoft account. So if you already have an account, you can put in your email, phone, or your Skype. Or if you don't have an account, you can go ahead and create one right now, or you can sign in with a security key, or you have different sign-in options here, okay? So for myself, I know my email address to my Microsoft account, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my email address here. Put my email address in, so let me go ahead and tap on the close button there, and I'm gonna tap on next. So it looks like they sent a code to my email address, and I need to enter the code here, so let me check my email. So I finally got the email, it took about one minute, but I see my code right there. So I'm gonna input my code into here, and that's uh, three, nine, three, two, five, five, eight. I'm gonna go and just tap on return here. All right, so my password to my, my, my Microsoft account was good. So now they're asking us to, um, if you wanna use your face to sign in faster and more securely, basically a face ID password. You can go ahead and skip now and always do it later if you wish, or you can do it now. For me, I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. It only takes a second, so yes, set up. And then I can see the camera up here. Now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and look directly into it. Wow, that was pretty quick. That's it. You're all set. Click on next here now. Got it. Now we're going to set up a pin password. So we're going to tap on create pin right there. And I'm just gonna make a four digit pin here. You can include letters and numbers if you wish, but for me, I'm just fine. I'm just gonna do number code here. After you put it in your first time, tap on the X and you wanna confirm the pin again. After you confirm it, go ahead and tap on the X there and then we're gonna tap on OK. Now it says welcome back. Now I do have a restore. You can see right here from a different um, surface but what I want to do is I just want to set up as a new new device. I want a total clean slate here. Choose pri privacy settings for your device. Now these are all optional, okay? So for myself, I just don't want the advertising ID. I'm fine with all the other ones. I'm going to tap on accept down here. Customize your experience. You can do, uh, tap on entertainment, gaming, go all through this. For me, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this and you can skip and always go back to it later if you wish, but I don't need any of those. Your Microsoft account in OneDrive, go ahead and tap on next right there. Access granted, we're giving you a free trial of Microsoft 365. You can continue for that or for me, I don't need it. I'm gonna go ahead and decline mine. Checking for updates. We're getting you the next version Windows, Windows 11, it's updating. Still updating here. This is gonna take a little bit, so just be patient. You may wanna go ahead and make sure your PC is plugged in here. 
so it doesn't lose battery power just in case. Still going here. All right, finally. This may take a few more minutes. All right. All right, looks like we're all up and running now. So now let me go ahead and connect my keyboard here. That's what the keyboard here looks like. And we can see, now if we look up here, there's the camera right here and we look under it, we can see the connector right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop that in, just like that. Let me pop over the back plates. And as soon as you connect it, it should work. You can see the mouse right there. There you go. Pretty simple. Questions or issues? Comment below.